Welcome to the AC 24-7 Top Story Countdown. We'll guide you through the biggest news of the day. Our focus, advocating our rights, advocating equality, advocating health, and advocating Earth. Here's our pick for number four. The possibilities are infinite. Yes, with artificial intelligence, the possibilities are infinite, both good and bad. And try our AI voices today. That is VoiceMod, an AI company that can manipulate your voice in real time. As CEO Jamie Bosch demonstrates here. So I can, for, for example, uh, pretend that I am Dean. So, hello, I am Dean. I live in Sweden. Altering the truth is one of the major concerns surrounding AI technology. And it's one of the many issues triggering Hollywood SAG after actors to strike. Pushing for more guidelines from the movie studios. I think it's up to Congress to come up with some solutions and some guidelines and some laws to protect us. Coming up with safeguards to AI generated content is exactly what President Joe Biden wants to do. We must be clear eyed and vigilant about the threats emerging from emerging technologies. Speaking at the White House Friday, the president announced that his administration has been working with seven of the biggest tech companies to protect Americans from the dangers of AI. Those include outside testing of AI systems, clear labels of AI content, investing in cybersecurity, and prioritizing research and reporting risks. But there are major positives about AI technology. We're creating this technology because of all the good it can do. Diagnosing diseases early, creating new cures for cancer. While many acknowledge the advantages of AI, the White House just wants to make sure there is oversight. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. TheAdvocateChannel.com looks at the world through the lens of equality and inclusion. Subscribe, like, and share now. AC 24-7's Top Story Countdown continues with our producer's pick for number three. A heat wave off the coast of Florida is sending water temperatures to unprecedented highs. While that's not a problem for some swimmers, it is a major concern for coral reefs. Corals thrive with ocean temperatures in the mid 80s, but lately they have been soaring into the 90s. Where in the world are they measuring these off the chart record ocean temperatures? Including this NOAA sensor one research scientist showed me near Miami. It's broken its daily record the past four days in a row. South Florida's abnormally warm water could put area corals on the verge of extinction. You can tell right now it's producing... Dr. Andrew Baker is a professor of marine biology and ecology at the University of Miami's Rosenstiel School. The marine heat wave is more or less throughout the Caribbean at this point. Uh, certain parts of the Caribbean, like Belize, are already bleaching and bleaching pretty severely. And Florida is where Belize was about a month ago. This is a healthy brown piece of coral. If it was to bleach, it would turn all white and could potentially die. That is what scientists are concerned about if this marine heat wave continues to build. Losing coral could be costly. Coral reefs generate billions of dollars for Florida's economy through activities like fishing and tourism, which wouldn't be possible without reefs to protect the species that rely on them. Well, we've been working for several years on ways to make corals more thermally tolerant. Engineering coral that can withstand even a five degree temperature increase in our oceans will mitigate the effects of stronger marine heat waves that are expected in the future. Corals are one of the most sensitive ecosystems to the effects of climate change. Without them, we could lose a natural defense system as healthy corals help protect our coastlines during hurricanes. And so reef restoration efforts that are ongoing right now are really taking steps to plan for climate change, to try to make sure that we restore reefs to be suitable for a future environment and not the victims of it. Ken Niedermeyer is the technical director at Reef Renewal USA. He works to restore coral reefs in the Florida Keys and is hopeful about the future. There are corals that can live in hotter water. We just have to find them and try to repopulate with them. After one year, Dr. Baker's research is hitting its initial milestones, already seeing results with corals surviving in slightly warmer temperatures. We've had a few pilot uh, experiments out there on the reefs that we've manipulated to try to make corals more thermally tolerant, and this will be a natural test of that. Not ready to throw the towel in just yet. Optimism amid record-breaking weather patterns with no immediate signs of cooling off. Like the Advocate channel on Facebook for the best way to get updated stories that advocate for equality, justice, our rights, and more. 
AC 24-7 continues with today's top two pick. The footage provided by Ohio State Highway Patrol is disturbing, but now under scrutiny after a man was mauled by a police officer's canine. July 4th, Jackson County, Ohio. A case report shows a highway patrol officer in a marked vehicle tried stopping the driver of this big rig for a missing mud flap. The man behind the wheel, later identified by authorities as 23-year-old Jadarius Rose, drives on, and a chase begins. About 20 minutes into the pursuit, the big rig is seen rolling to a stop. Get out of the truck! But that lasts only a few seconds. The driver continues to flee, and officers stay on him for another eight minutes. He took off again. Uh, we're heading northbound. It wasn't until police used tire deflation devices we're stopped. that the chase came to a slow but dramatic and disturbing stop. That's a Circleville, Ohio Police Department canine unit rolling up to the scene. After repeated orders from state troopers, the driver eventually steps out of the rig, his hands in the air as requested. A patrolman is heard asking the canine to not be released, though it's unclear if he could be heard by all officers on scene. That's when the canine is deployed. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Don't get the dog off of it. After the canine takedown, an officer approaches, then quickly walks away, her hands covering her face as Rose screams in pain. The frustration audible in the voice of another state officer. Was I not loud enough? After the dog is removed, officers move in to arrest Rose and administer first aid. Just let a dog bite me. All you had to do was come to me. I was coming, all the guns pointing at me. How do you expect me to respect you? You got a gun pointing at me. It's like 20 of y'all. All you had to do was stop, brother. I did stop. A spokesperson for the Ohio State Highway Patrol tells CNN, as troopers were attempting to gain compliance by providing verbal commands to the suspect, the Circleville Police Department deployed their canine, which resulted in the suspect being bitten. CNN has reached out to the Circleville Police Department for comment. Police say Rose was taken to a local hospital where he was treated and released before being taken to jail. His attorney declined to comment. Follow the Advocate channel on Twitter and Instagram to stay updated on stories that matter every day. We're now at our number one story of the day. Take a look. Police say one person is dead and four others are injured after gunfire erupts in Houston early Saturday morning, according to CNN affiliate KTRK. We were out here celebrating a friend's birthday party. The victim who was killed, 21-year-old Autumn Valian. Her mother told KTRK she was about to leave the event when a fight broke out at Margaret Jenkins Park. My daughter came pulling me, telling me, Mama, let's get away, let's get away. And I'm like, come on. And I looked back, my baby was down on the ground, gone. Valian was five months pregnant, and her mother said she planned to become a teacher. She's a very sweet girl. She didn't deserve this. She didn't deserve it. In Florida, five people were injured from gunfire at a bar in Tampa Sunday morning. Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister issued a statement that said, quote, it's disheartening to hear that the lives of so many people were jeopardized because a few people think the way to solve their problems is with violence. These incidents were among the more than 400 mass shootings reported in 2023, according to the Gun Violence Archive. The GVA and CNN define a mass shooting as an incident where at least four people are injured or killed, not including the shooter. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Thanks for watching the Advocate Channel's top stories. We're on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. Follow, like, and share, or check out advocatechannel.com for even more stories that advocate for you.